Hello, this is Sal. In today's video, we will be talking about configuring a switch port security. In this network, we I have a switch one with a VLAN one, an IP address configured in VLAN of one of 10.1.1.2 slash 24. I have three PCs uh, connected to the switch via ports F01, F02, and F03. Nothing configured on the PC except for the IP addresses. Port security is not enabled on the switch, but the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to shut down all the unused ports on the switch. Enable. First, let me run this command for IP interface brief. We have some port starting with port F pass Ethernet 04 all the way to pass Ethernet 024 and gig 01 and gig 02 are not used. Configure terminal interface range pass Ethernet 04 to the 24 exit. Interface gig zero one and two. Interface range gig zero one and two. Shut. Exit. Show IP interface brief. As you can see, only the three ports connected connecting. The PCs to the switch are open up and with the VLAN 1 with this IP address configured. Now we have the three PCs, are, the ports are connecting the PCs to the switch are still in the dynamic state. So now we want to configure them as access ports. So I'll go on the switch, configure terminal interface range f0 slash 1 to 3 switch port mode access switch port access vlan 1 exit now let's see if uh, to confirm that port security is not is not running on the switch and as you can see it's still disabled we need we want to enable it now so let's go to the interfaces uh, interface range f01 to 3 switch port port security now for the three PCs, we want them switch port for security, maximum MAC addresses to be learned on the ports. Uh, we have the range from 1 to 132, but we want only one MAC address on each port. Switch port for security, uh, MAC address. And we want uh, uh, the MAC addresses to be learned uh, dynamically by using the option sticky. Exit. Now, let us see what we configured so far on the FAST Ethernet 01. Show for security interface. Uh, Zero one. As you can see here, we have the port security is enabled. The port status is secure and up. And this is uh, the default configuration. But as we can see here, the maximum MAC addresses on the port is one, and the sticky MAC addresses is still zero. Now we want the switch. To know about the MAC address of PC, John's PC. So 
the let us assume that the network admin he contacted John and he told him please uh, just ping the switch so let the switch build or no port with the MAC address of your PC in its routing table the two so he pinged the switch and if we go on the switch now the last source address on this port port pass ethernet uh, pass ethernet 01 is still uh, not known here and it's not built in the mac address table but now after we ping let's run the command again and now we have this mac address of this pc if we go to the pc and type this command ip config slash forward slash all it's it's we it's telling us or showing here that the mac address last uh, Octet is 3A E8. If we bring up the switch, and this is the MAC address showing the same MAC address here. Now we'll go to the switch, and on the interface of configure F01, sorry, configure terminal interface f01 switch for port security violation this is we are configuring the violation mode on john's pc and we want to uh, have the mode of protect on john's pc exit exit now let's go to mike's pc what do we have so far on Mike's PC? So, for security interface, pass Ethernet 02. We know that uh, port security is enabled on the port, and we still did not configure the violation mode, but this is the default. It's the maximum MAC address is one, and it is sticky, but it's still uh, the switch does not know about the MAC address of uh, Mike's PC. So the admin, the network admin, asked Mike to ping the switch. And he did ping pin.1.1.2. So the switch will know about uh, Mike's PC's MAC address. So to run the command again and sure enough now on the mac table mac address table we have the mac address of mike's pc if we run ip config or the slash all showing us here the physical address of my XPC, if we bring up the switch, we have the MAC address here, the same as the MAC address here, 4E2D. We'll go back to Mike's PC. The port connecting Mike's PC, configure terminal, interface, pass 02, switch port, port security, violation, violation mode for Mike's PC. Now we want to choose it as restrict. Now it's Tom's PC. Tom's PC is trying to be configured. We'll go on the switch, exit, now, uh, interface, pass 03, switch port, port security, violation, 
And for uh, Tom's PC, we want the violation mode to be shut down. Exit, exit, Here, show port security on Tom's PC, show port security, interface at zero 03, and it's enabled, and uh, maximum MAC, asset, MAC addresses are is one, and the, the switch still does not know about Tom's PC's MAC address. So the network admin asked Tom if he can ping the switch, so he did. To let the switch know about uh, Tom's MAC address. So now if you go to the switch, show port security. Now on this table, the port security table is showing us on fast ethernet 01 we configured the maximum security or secure addresses MAC addresses to be one current addresses configured there is one and it's sticky and no violation on them but the security action on john's pc is to protect on Mike's PC, the violation mode is restrict, and on Tom's PC, the violation mode is shut down. So for that day, uh, they finished working, and uh, so this guy he came using his rogue laptop trying to sneak in the company's network and to steal information or look at information he shouldn't. So John, he took his laptop with him, but this guy, he came and all of a sudden just went to, to his PC and connected his PC to the switch using the port, which was port fast Ethernet 01, to his rogue PC and he waited and as you can see the light is still orange you know the link is still did not so he waited and he tried so if you remember what we configured on John's PC the violation mode is protect and we have already on the Mac table if we run this command here show MAC address address table it is showing us on VLAN 1 the MAC addresses on Fast Ethernet 02, which is Mike's PC, and Fast Ethernet 01, which was uh, John's PC, and for Tom's PC, MAC addresses. So we have the MAC addresses learned uh, dynamically on the MAC address table. But this guy, he doesn't know that the network admin was smart enough to shut down all the unused ports and to configure port security on the PC. So he tried, tried to connect to the network after everybody left. And he said, okay, let me try to hang the switch. He tried using the ports was connecting John's PC and he wasn't able to. He did not give up. So he said, okay, I don't want to use this PC. Let me try a different port. So he connected John's PC uh, or he disconnect John's uh, PC's port and went to Mike's port and which is, was connect, still connected to the router and he said okay let me try the second PC and on the Mike's PC the violation mode we configured is uh, restrict <coughs> sorry about that so he tried 
And so people like this who are trying to sneak or to hack into a network, their intentions are never good. Uh, they are just trying to get to information. It is not theirs. So he was happy that, oh, now let me see my luck. Maybe I'll have a good luck now. And then he tried to ping once again the switch. And he was unable to. And he started to get upset, but he didn't give up. So he threw that cable, which was connecting Mike's PC. And he said, oh, OK, let me try the other PC, the other cable, and connect to the switch. That he was desperately trying to get to information or to access the network devices in the company. He waited and the light was still orange. And he didn't know that uh, the network admin was smart and to configure the violation mode on Tom's PC. If there is any violation will ever happen, just to shut down. So the minute he typed in this command, to ping the switch 10.1.1.2 and when he hit enter the port was disabled and shut down so as you saw here you know uh, i did configure the port security on these three ports first you know i shut down all the unused ports on the network device, which was the switch, switch number one. And then I, uh, the ports were uh, in, a in dynamic state. So we need to configure them as access ports to VLAN one. And then uh, I enabled port security. And I'll try to show you the three modes here you can configure on the ports to secure them, to protect them or to restrict them or to shut them, shut them down. Now if he, this guy on the rogue PC, he just gave up and just went back home. So now this PC is still shut down. You know, you need the network admin to open it. So the network admin came on the following, following day into the port, pass Ethernet 03, and no shut. shut. And then no shut. So when time comes, you know, in the morning, and uh, so he can do his work. So let's run uh, a couple of show commands, show for security. And showing us show Mac Mac address table and showing us that the Mac address uh, table still have the Mac addresses for the PCs which uh, we configured how to switch to uh, how the switch will will have them on the Mac table. And this is it for today. I hope this video was helpful and you learned something. And I'll see you in my next video and wish you a nice day. Thank you.